Hi everyone. So I'm going to show you how to use Zoom. Zoom is a video conferencing platform that we're using a lot more these days. You can use it to video chat with friends, but Central is using it to host faith on demand classes and series during this time when we're not really able to see each other face to face. So to get started from the very beginning of using Zoom, you'll probably get a link in your inbox after you register for a class or that you can see on whatever website that you're using, like Facebook or the CPC website. You're going to click that link. When you open that, when you click on that link, you're going to get a page where it gives you these options, whether to open the, the app if you already have it, or if you don't already have it, then you have to download it. So you click on the download and the download and run Zoom um, link. And it's going to, in the bottom left corner of your screen, give you the instruct, you'll click on, it'll give you a link and you'll click on that and that'll give you the instructions on how to download it fully to your computer. You can also, if you don't see it at the bottom of your screen, you can also access it through the downloads tab on the right of your uh, browser if you're using a different browser. So that's how you can download that, um, the app. After you download it, you can join any meeting just by clicking on Run Zoom after clicking on a Zoom link, and it's very user-friendly. So once you've downloaded Zoom and you're in a Zoom call, you, want, you might have some technical issues. Why can't you see yourself? Why can't you hear yourself? Um, how do you see others or hear others, and like, how should it be working? So if you can't see yourself, Look at the camera icon at the bottom left corner of the screen. If it has a red line going through it, that means that video is turned off. Click on that and it'll say that your video is working again. If you can't hear yourself, then you, click, you look at that microphone icon. If it has a red line through it, that means you're muted. Click on that again and it'll unmute you. If you're just joining a class, you might not be able to see um, or hear other people because your video and audio input are turned off. So you should just click allow for both of those things and it'll make everything work. So if you want to see and hear everyone in the chat or just the speaker, you can go to the top right corner of the screen where it gives you the, the option of watching speaker view or um, gallery view. If you change between those things, you can see, you can either um, see everyone in the chat at the same time or just the person who's speaking at the time. So you can click on that and to decide um, how you want to be enjoying your faith on demand class. Another I, um, sort of thing that you can do on Zoom once you have downloaded the app is use the chat feature. You can send a message to everyone in the chat to just one person in the chat after selecting that person, or you can access information that people in the chat, like the host, shares. That allows you to access other links, and Zoom means that you can multitask and open other links at the same time as being in a chat. And so you can open a PowerPoint or a file that is shared with you and still stay in the chat and hear what other people are saying. Another thing you can do is select the CC icon. If you select auto transcript, this will provide you with a live transcript of everything that is being said in the chat to help you out if you're having trouble hearing. But how do you get to a faith on demand class? If you go to the CPC website and scroll down to um, the information on faith on demand classes, you'll see the word here in red. If you click on that, that will bring you to all of the listings of Faith on Demand programs and classes that are happening. Say I want to register for the class, the Sunday school class that my mother is teaching with Jake. Then I click on that, fill out all of the information, and once I register, it will send me an email with the information and link to click when I want to join that class
if you're registering right at the time of the meeting, then you can just click the link in the window that opens right after you register. So that's how to access Faith on Demand class, and now you know how to change your display and your audio. I recommend that you use your computer for the best Zoom experience. That's the basics of using Zoom. You can also go to the Zoom website where they have video tutorials and written tutorials. I hope that answers any questions that you have, and I hope that you have an awesome Zoom experience.